If you get involved in bad stuff and involved in bad personal beefs, the unfortunate truth is bad stuff happens. Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I'm your host, John Correa. And I'm your Saturday co-host, Stephanie Widener. And today's video with the difficult lessons it brings comes out of South Africa. Palm pepper spray has recently reformulated for even more effect when you bless the deserving with the hot sauce. Palm is what I use between a harsh word and a gun and encourage everyone to do likewise. Passenger at the door of the truck on the top right has just come out from a doctor's appointment. The news stories are a little sketchy on this, but apparently, I don't know why, but his dad said some people had some grudges against him. And you're going to see that come up as those two guys walking by in the background start opening fire on him. And they get him with the first couple rounds. A third guy joins in, and they are then going to put multiple rounds in him and in the driver. Both of them did not make it, and the perps all got away without any indication who they are. How many times do we have to say, be a good, sane, sober, moral, prudent person? And these kinds of things don't happen often. If you want to have a reminder of that, we even have a shirt in the merch shop talking about being a good, sane, sober, moral, prudent person. And you can check it out there. So part of living a life of spiritual fitness, Stephanie, is living your life in such a way that A, you, you do the best you can to not be put in the kind of situation where you are the target of an assassination. I suppose you could be a good, sane, sober, moral, prudent person and have you know, some evil folks who end up you know, offending and wanting you dead or something like that. But for the most part here, if you live a good, clean, moral life and you are a good, sane, sober, moral, prudent person, you should be able to avoid having people hate you this much. Right, and you can only control what you can control, but to the best of your ability, as much as it is up to you, live the type of life where people don't want to assassinate you. I mean, for most people, for good, sane, sober, moral, prudent people, the odds of you just being targeted for no reason in a parking lot like this and just straight shot just for the sake of killing you, the odds are astronomically low that that's going to happen to the point of... Uh, it really shouldn't be in your concern. The far greater concern is to not live the kind of life where you put yourself at risk for this and don't hang around people that do. And listen, you know, regardless of that stuff, make sure you're dawdling here in a transitional space, just kind of standing with his window, you know, his door open, whatever, hanging out with the car in this transitional space. If it's time to go, remember that let's go acronym. We get in the car. We don't dawdle in that transitional space. Let's go. We get in, lock the doors. E, engine on. T, transmission engaged. S, we put our seatbelt on while we do a scan and make sure everything around us is okay. G, get organized and O, on your way. And that means we do not dawdle in these kinds of places. And even if somebody wants you dead, if, you, if they hadn't just sat here and dawdled, they might have made it out of this. Yeah, and that's good advice whether you're a dirtbag or not because they obviously were just shooting him to shoot him and, and killing him here. But it's these type of transitional spaces that people will sneak up on good saints sober moral, prudent people. And so standing around in a parking lot, particularly where people can get up to you very easily, they're covered pretty well by this fence here, get really close to you, um, you know, that that's a problem. They may not want to kill you outright, but they may want to rob you. They may want to do other things. Uh, just get going. Yeah. And again, that dawdling there in transitional spaces, we see it so often that we don't want to have that. And of course, I mean, at the end of the day, this guy paid with his life for whatever it was, the, whatever the offense was, made these three guys and probably a bunch of others mad enough that not only did they shoot him from a distance, they came up and made it real personal here. And I can't say enough, practice spiritual fitness. And spiritual fitness is an everyday exercise. It's how I relate to me, to my world, and to the ultimate reality of our creator. And, and we want to make sure that we've said everything we need to say to our loved ones, that, that they know that we love them. We've solved every conflict we can. We've lived a good, sane, sober, moral, prudent life. And that our relationship with Jesus is strong because we may not have much opportunity to get it. And I think if we have it ahead of time, not only does that ensure that eternity is great, but it also changes the way that we behave here on earth, makes us better people, and helps us cover our asp. 